it is time. Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles, it is indeed time. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Hogwarts Legacy Collector's Edition for PS5. I am very excited, I haven't even had a cheeky sneak peek into the box, so we're going to be revealing it together. So strap on in, get a chocolate frog and let's unbox. Before we get started, JK Rowling's comments on the transgender community are both inaccurate and harmful. Her views are not in line with my own. With that said, let's move on with the video. Okay, let's get started. Now, I will be honest, it's a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be when it arrived. Here she is. After months of waiting, it is time. Oh my God, it fills the entire box. <laughs> so here it is, Hogwarts Legacy for the PlayStation 5. So it is in a sleeve, but let's have a look at the outside box. So this is the front, as we've already seen. Uh, the top just says Hogwarts Legacy, and this is the back. The first thing that is gripping my eye is this absolutely gorgeous scene of what looks to be the Great Hall with all of the flying candles, the beautiful stained glass windows with all of the houses in, and it says, live the unwritten truth. Hogwarts Legacy is an immersive open world action RPG set in the world first introduced in the Harry Potter books. Now you can take control of the action and be in, at the center of your very own adventure in the wizarding world. Your legacy is what you make of it. Over here to the right, we've got Explore an Open World, and it looks like you can ride your very own hippogriff. It says, be the witch or wizard that you want to be. Oh my God, I, I need to get to Ollivander's. And it says, experience a new wizarding world adventure. There are trolls. That sounds like it's gonna be scary. What else have we got on this box? Now, because this is the collector's edition, there is included the Dark Arts Pack. So this means that you get the Dark Arts Cosmetics set a Thestral mount which I'm very excited to see Thestrals and it says Dark Arts Battle Arena so that has got my attention for sure. Now the things that are actually in this box which is probably exciting me the most is actually the floating wand which is life-size with a book base. This actually levitates in a very magical way so I cannot wait to see that in action. And of course the thing that we have all been waiting for the game itself. Now this game in here comes with a steel case as well as the full game and I cannot wait so let's get unboxing. Oh, oh, <laughs> one step closer to my legacy. Okay, I think it's, oh. Okay, so let's take a look at the actual box. So it is the same on this side. It's got that on the back as well, which is just Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, it's heavy. So we're into the box, let's have a look. So as I mentioned before from reading the back of the box, there is downloadable content in this collector's edition. So the first thing that we see is the code for that. So I'll definitely be downloading it, but it is the Dark Arts Garrison Hat and Kelpie Robe. You can only get these if you get the collector's edition. So here it is. I cannot believe that this is in front of me right now. Gotta say, I'm pretty excited just from the artwork alone. This is the deluxe edition as well, which was in the collector's edition set box. And ah, oh, I can't wait. Okay, let's have a look at the back of this game then. It's pretty much all the stuff that was on the back of the box, but this is the physical game and disc. So let's open up and see what's inside for the very first time. Oh my God. Okay, so these are gonna be some extra downloadable content and something which is very interesting to note which I do believe that this says link your Harry Potter fan club account and WB games account to customize your game and unlock exclusive rewards and then it will give you the link to do that I have actually done that ahead of time because girl be organized so it says bring your wizarding world identity into the game live the unwritten representing your true Hogwarts house and you get to use your actual own wand so whatever wand that chose you in the Harry Potter fan club app you get to use in this game and I just think that is such a cool detail. So let's put that to one side and see what else is in this game. So here this is the dark arts pack and it says 
Dark Arts cosmetic set and the Thresher amount. We have already discussed that one. This I'm not sure I knew about. So this says the Haunted Hogsmeade Shop exclusive quests. So you only get this quest with the deluxe edition. There's also an Onyx Hippogriff mount and Felix Felicis potion recipe. So that's the game itself. Let's see what else is in this box, which is probably the bit that I'm just like ready to unbox and get in action. Next up, I'm assuming this is the steel case. So this is the back of it. It's got that kind of magical smoky wisps. And then the front of the steel case is the Hogwarts crest as we all know it. That's pretty nice. And then inside you can keep your game safe in a more a more luxurious case now this packaging does have a couple of layers to it so i'm going to take the top one off because i need to release the wand okay so obviously we have a power cable which isn't very exciting so i'm just going to pop that to one side let's talk about the wand then this is unlike any wand i think i've ever seen Oh, I love the kind of, it's got some metallic sheen. I'm definitely a sucker for the gold because I think that makes it feel really special. But yeah, it's almost like it's got a thumb rest, which is pretty cool. We've got this wooden core to it. Obviously this isn't made out of real wood. It will be made out of resin or something similar. Let's talk about the book that it's gonna be levitating on, which I cannot wait to get out. And we're also gonna set it up and see this wand in action. Next up, the book then. Oh my God, it's a map. <laughs> this looks aged and wonderful. And ooh, there's cheeky things hidden underneath. Wasn't expecting that. So here it is. This is the open book. We have a lot of detail on here. So over here, we've got Hogwarts Castle, of course. We've got the Black Lake. I'm not sure what all of these words are in there. We've got the Forbidden Forest over here, also with a compass symbol. And then oh, we get to go to Hogsmeade. <laughs> Made. The bit that I'm probably most excited about, I know that it's going to be on the base, so it's something that you won't see when this is set up, but I think it's important to show it because when you turn this around, oh, wow, this is like a really old magical book. I love the detail that makes it look like really aged leather. Obviously it's not, it's cast. We've got some cool paintwork. This is intriguing me. What is this mysterious figure? I'm loving the paintwork on here. It does feel like a really old book and that's really cool. Let's set it up though, because this wand levitates, so it won't be touching it, but it will be doing magic. And if you thought that I had forgotten about what was underneath this book, don't worry, I have not. This is the instructions on how to use and set up your levitating Hogwarts Legacy wand. So here it is. This is a copy of the map underneath and it tells you where to place your wand. So obviously it's got to go this way and they want this kind of chunky thumb rest part in between the Forbidden Forest and Hogsmeade on the right hand side. Now, if I just place that there now, it's magnetized. So let's see how to get this working. So we plug it in. It's basically plug it in. Right, so let's find the hole that it needs to go into. It is just here in the spine. So let's plug that in. And I am gonna turn this around just so that you can see what's going on a little bit better. Here's the plug, I'm about to plug it in. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. Right, we're plugged in. Okay. Do I have to switch it on? <laughs> Maybe I do need those instructions after all. Oh, okay, it actually looks like we need this piece of paper to actually align it. So I'm guessing where it has to be is pretty particular and a little bit fussy, but it's meant to help us. Let's line that up as closely as we can. The line in the middle does actually help, so that's pretty cool. So then we need to get the wand and line it up quite precisely, I think. Um, oh. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, it made a fun, it's actually levitate. Okay, and then I think we can take the sheet of paper out now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Like, that is fully levitating. Like, you look, the paper's going underneath it. They, they are not touching. And it's having, it's having the time of its life. It's actually spinning around. Can I spin this faster if I whoop? <gasps> <laughs> That's pretty 
fun, I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely gonna have to find a really cool place to display this because it's pretty impressive. It looks like an aged book. We've got the actual magic wand that is doing some magic, as we can see. It's definitely a novelty. Is it the best thing I've ever seen? No, but I do really enjoy it and it's something that I've personally not experienced before, especially with a wand, so that's pretty cool. But that is everything that is inside the Hogwarts Legacy Collector's Edition for the PlayStation 5 and I've got to say I am ready and very excited to start my very own legacy at Hogwarts. As per usual it's not just about what I think I want to hear what you think too so leave a comment down below with your opinions what did you think of this unboxing and everything that was inside Hogwarts Legacy the collector's edition for the PlayStation 5. I will be playing this game on my YouTube channel so if you are not subscribed well what are you waiting for? Make sure you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my Hogwarts legacy adventures but let's go because uh, I've got so many exciting magical adventures to take and I'm ready I need my wand I need everything now I personally spent 279 pounds 99 pence on this Hogwarts legacy collector's edition I know ouch now if you were meant to all right. <laughs> now, if you wanted to buy this game on its own, this would set you back £59.99 just for the game itself. So with that in mind, that means that this levitating wand on the book plus the steel case and all of the digital downloads that you get and all the codes that come with it has a value of £220. Now, I guess that begs the question, would I have spent £220 on the levitating one set plus the steel case and the codes? I'm honestly edging towards no. Is this really cool? Yes, and we will talk about all of the bits that I do like about it, but is it worth £220? Hey, as I said, it's not just about my opinions. I want to hear what you guys think of its value. But that's not to say that this is all bad because this is a pretty neat product and I will say, and this is something that I always look at when it comes to replicas, things like the paintwork are actually done really well. <coughs> <laughs> that's not annoying at all <laughs> I am someone that always likes a good paint job I think it's very important and I will say the paintwork on the wand itself and the book itself doesn't seem to be sloppy at all it seems to be done really nicely and I think they've done a pretty good job on that but I would expect nothing less when I've spent 220 pounds on it that brings me on to the steel case am I going to use this I'm not 100% sure especially Especially when I am one of those people that likes things to match on a shelf so I'll probably end up using the PS5 one to go along with the rest of my PS5 games. As for the codes and the downloadable content which some of which are exclusive to this collector's edition I think that's really cool. Is it gonna make me feel a little bit special when I'm playing the game and I've got a few things that other people might not be able to experience? Absolutely we all like to feel a little bit cool. So overall as much as this is a really cool novelty and I'm really glad I've got this I'm not so sure that I would have spent £279.99 on this had I not have been reviewing it for you guys because I absolutely would have got just as much joy from just the game itself. But what do you guys think? Let's have a discussion in the comments down below and I will see you when I'm about to start my legacy at Hogwarts. Bye! Oh, am I gonna be good or am I gonna be bad? Choices, choices. This wand is not the one that chose me. Ooh, maybe it is. She's got the touch.